Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In this video, here I am going to show you how to add or remove options menu items at your runtime. You have to override on prepare options menu items method to update the options menu at your runtime. So here we have an Android Studio project. So I run the project. So here we have an application bar that contains some options menu items. We have a search item, uh, we have a cast item on the overflow menu, we have settings and the when you click the item there is a snack bar also available. So now we are going to add and remove an item at a runtime into this application bar. So first here I am going to add a vector resource for the new menu item. So create a new vector asset. Here I am going to select a share option. So select an icon for share option. Specify the icon name. Okay, now the vector resource available inside the drawable folder. So now I am going to place a button for add or remove the item at a runtime. So add a button, specify width, height. Now specify text on it, add share option, specify margin, specify an id for it, now specify an on click method. Now implement this method inside the class file. Now create some variables. First create variable for button. Now create an integer variable, a final variable. This is an ID for the new menu item. Now create a boolean variable is item add. Initialize that one with the false. Now, now you need to override a method called on prepare options menu. When the menu item updated this method will be called so here check some condition if not is item added in that case is item into true is item added into true so we have to initialize the button first okay now change the button label set the text into a remove share option Okay, now call the invalidate options menu. Otherwise, we have to remove the item. So here change this one in the false. Now add same thing. So now first we can add the item. So check the condition if I if is item added and check the item is already added. So menu dot find item pass the item ID is null. It is share item id that means item is not added it in that case we have to add the menu item so menu item create available for menu item call the add method first parameter is the group id so you can pass none for it second parameter is the item id so here we can use the share item id third parameter is the sequence and final parameter is the title now set set the content set icon for the item so call the method set icon and select the vector resource from drawable folder. Now set the flag set show as action flag into action always. Now set the click listener. So if the menu item is selected by the user display message share option is selected and it will turn true from here. Otherwise, that means if the item is already added, we have to remove the item. So menu dot call the remove item method and pass the item ID. So implement the super class implementation and return true from this method. So now we can run the project. So I run the project. Okay, now the project available on this virtual device. Now here we have only three options menu items available. Now I try to add. So here we add an additional item it's a share option and the other two items available on the overflow menu okay now click the share option 
the click events is working fine okay so now I try to remove the item so now here we have only three options available now we remove the share option from this menu so this is how we add or remove items at a runtime in Android thank you for watching see you in the next episode